Guys, it's Mock Draft Monday. Every single Monday, we go ahead and do a Mock Draft for the NFL season for the Cincinnati Bengals. Obviously, again, you know, this is all random. We don't know how this is going to end up going once a draft does get here because things will change at the free agency. But it's fun to see, you know, how players go up and down the draft board dependingly. With that being said, I opened my blind today. My whole right side of my right side of my uh, wall is windows. So, there we go. I look beautiful. All right, so starting off right away. Actually, ironically enough, Jackson Powers Johnson went one pick before us. Uh, Jared Verse went to the Seahawks. By Byron Murphy the second went to the Broncos. All players we could potentially take. Brock Bowers went to uh, number nine to the Bears. Um, Fuaga, I said no, sorry, Penn State guy went to the um, Falcons, number eight. Joe Walt went number six to the Giants. And uh, yeah, so now we're on the board. And man, it's when you sit on the board like this, right? And you're looking, you're like, it's like it's almost a match made in heaven. And oh, by the way, Fuaga went to the Vikings. Um, but again, like I said, as always, you know, we never know who they're going to take, right? They could take Newton at pick 18. He is another really good option here. Um, six foot two, 295 pounds. And to be honest, here's how I'm going to look at it, right? In this spot, if JC Latham is available, you take him no matter what. That's not even a question. That's not a question on this on God's green earth, okay? You take JC Latham. But let's say they did go ahead, and in this mock draft scenario, we're going to change it up because I always go left ta a right tackle first round. Let's say we're going to take Newton first round, okay? We're going to take Newton first round. Take a D-tackle replacement if we can't bring back DJ Reader. Again, this is after free agency. We're going to take um, Jerzan Newton out of Illinois, okay? That's our first pick. If we did do that, and we passed up on JC Latham, after I spent a good solid hour crying in the bathroom that we missed up on JC Latham, kind of like what I did last year when we took Michael Mayer, not... I wish. Uh, Miles Murphy over Michael Mayer, Sam Laporta. After I spent an hour crying in the bathroom. Then I'm going to realize that the second round, we're definitely going tackle. Now, the thing that really sucks right now is that Kingsley, one player that we really liked from the Senior Bowl, is already taken at pick 42. So that means we're going to have to kind of go elsewhere at left or for tackle here in the second round. Now, we do have Karen here who went ahead and played left tackle and left guard in college. Um, pretty decent run blocking. Oh, sorry, really good run blocking. Not the greatest pass blocking. 6'5", 318 pounds. We have Blake Fisher from the Fighting Irish right here, uh, who played mainly right tackle in college. 6'6", 312 pounds. I will say, though, I feel like, see, this is my only dilemma slash issue, is I feel like we're, if we did this we would be reaching on both of these players. So this is a potential trade down spot. And again, you know, we're getting a little crazy with this draft, okay? We're getting a little crazy with this draft. And the two teams that are interested in our pick are pick 76 and pick 96, which I'm not really interested in trading down that far. To be honest, 60, 76 and 96. 76... That's middle of the first, I mean, it's the third round. Uh, not really interested. I'm, I would be more interested in a pick or a trade like someone like, let's say, for example, the Eagles or something, pick 54. Okay, so I can't pick pick fit. Wait, why can't I do pick 54? All right, so I guess I'll do the Dallas Cowboys pick 56. Right, so we look. At these picks here. So, okay, I see why. Because the Eagles, you have to do it like this. Alright, so pick 54. Because if you look at some of these teams, no one really wants an offensive tackle anywhere near there. I don't know if I would... Yeah, let's do... Let's trade down a couple spots, okay? We're going to trade this pick for this pick, but we're also going to add some more things in there. 
So I want a give me your third. No, they're not going to do a third. They would probably do if I traded them a couple spots down. Um, so they're moving up a couple spots. Probably an extra fifth round pick. I don't know if they. I don't think they would do that. They might do that. So they would give us a seventy-one, which is their condition. Um, compensatory pick and then they would also give us 78 which is another compensatory pick they still have another fifth round pick so we pretty much here just trade down a couple of spots um for 49 to 54 they get roman wilson so they get one of their guys and then we trade down and now taking a tackle isn't that crazy because we just got ourselves two additional picks so we got ourselves two additional fifth round picks Plus, we got ourselves an offense tackle. That's not actually really that bad. Um, ooh. Six foot seven, 315 pounds. This guy's a monster. See, this is my problem, though, with trading down and or not taking a tackle with the first round and waiting is that a lot of these guys become projects. And I feel like JC Latham is ready to go right now and ready to play. That would be my only problem with trading down and, you know, avoiding that is that you're going more for, or less for projects rather than a developed player that you know you can kind of fill in, plug and play. But again, like I said, we're doing a little bit different in this draft. Um, hmm. You know, this would be perfect pick. Go Christian Jones here. Um, now we have three fifth round picks. So now we're stacked up on fifth round picks here. Now I'm interested in going with a running back in some capacity in this draft. I don't think I'm going to go right now with running back. But I could see ourselves going running back somewhere in this draft. Um, also going edge rusher would also be very nice to do. Let's go with... Ooh... Go center here, right? Drake Nugent. Put him at guard. I'm not against that idea. Especially competition with Cordell Volson. Uh, we are definitely going a cornerback here. That's another thing we need to work on here. I'd like to get a more run support S corner. Um, just to help us out in that category. But for right now, let's just go with the best option, which is... Um, the corner there from Tennessee. So, where are we going so far? Let me just double check here. So, we went edge rusher. I would like to go with a defense alignment and a linebacker in some way in this draft. I think the guy from Georgia here, six foot five, 310 pounds. He probably better let's just be a defensive tackle in the end there. He's probably better off just being a defensive tackle. Safety wise, what pick are we? Pick 178, so it's not really reaching too much to go for this guy. Uh, I don't, see, I, if we're going to get a safety, man, I want a safety who's good in run support. That's really my go-to here, especially with the safeties we have now. Really great cover safeties, but we, I want to have more or less a little bit more into the run support here. I'm not against going with Omar Brown, but I'm not going to go with him in this pick. I would go with him in the sixth round here and wait a little bit, um, especially I think he can drop to us a little bit later. Going wide receiver here is not again, especially because this is a free pick now with how we have this set up. Uh, going receiver is not a bad idea. I do want to go with, ooh, this is exactly what I was going to talk about. I want to go with a big body receiver. 210, or 215 pounds, six foot three, big body, just outmatch people. I wouldn't be against the idea with going with that. Um, let's see, six foot three, 220. Okay. Best play available is a quarterback. We're not going with him. AJ Bar Barner, ooh, six foot six, two fifteen, two fifty one. Let's go with him. I don't know if we go two tight ends though. That's definitely something I'm kind of on the fence if we would go two tight ends in this draft, but it's possible. A little bit of a reach there on Omar Brown. Don't love the idea of reaching too much on a um on a safety there. But he is the best player available, and, you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do here. 
All right, so linebacker Curtis Jobs, not really good in run defense, but great coverage player. Six foot one, two thirty eight from Penn State. I'll go with him. And then we have two more picks left here. No, one more pick. This is the last pick, I believe. Um, hmm. I'll go with a running back. Why not? So let's see what they end up giving me here. They gave me an A minus for the new in trade. I'm mean, sorry, pick. They obviously have my trade in there right there. They have a B for my future right tackle. We play that tackle in college, but right tackle player. C minus for Cade Stover. B plus for Christian Jones. B minus for Xavier Thomas. B plus for Drake Nugent. A C for uh, Camel Hayden, quarterback from Tennessee. An A for A.J. Barner. A D plus for Omar Brown. They don't like the Omar Brown pick. I think the reason why is because I feel like, and you saw it, he was like, I think 212 um, ranked. I think it was a uh, it was a reach a little bit. It was definitely a little bit of a reach. Curtis Jacobs, C plus, and Rasheen Ali, B minus. Okay, so I overall got a B for my grade. Yeah, looking back, I think the Omar pick, and I said it in the moment, I don't think it was the best pick. Um, Cade Stover, I, we could have went elsewhere. I just want to go with a higher-end tight end. And I know I've talked about Cade Stover a lot. I do really like him. Um, so that's a kind of interesting one. And then the rest of these guys, yeah, kind of makes sense. Guys, tell me down below your thoughts opinions. I'll see you guys next one. Peace.